Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Today I am going to show you my new team, squad builder time. Right, on screen right now is the team that you would have last seen. Not how it's set up in game, but how you would have seen it last. Okay, there's been a lot of changes since then. I've been saving for three, four months and spent about three and a half million dollars coins but before I show you the new team I want to show you how this was playing in game just so you get a feel of how things have progressed because I know we've got a lot of new subscribers here and I just want you to be part of it as well so in game this is how I've been setting up for like the last three or four months right when I say that remember my teams are always set up for squad battles they're not set up for online play online I do something completely different so we had Allison in goal, obviously, and then Wambasaka right back. For me, Wambasaka was okay, but my God, his passing used to let me down. I'd end up conceding goals from it because I'd give the ball away in stupid areas. So I was like, he is, he's got to go massively. And he has. Then, centre-back partnership. We've got the 83 Joe Gomez. I'm sure a lot of you have used him. It's absolutely fine, but it's time for an upgrade. Um, we've got Lauren Blanc as well, who's been amazing. Uh, Mendy at left back, nothing need to be said about that. Two CDMs had Genie One Alden, like certainly early on in the game, One Alden was um, amazing. But for the way I've got things now, I could only get my eight chemistry, and you know the power curve moves on, etc., etc. Kante as well, um, who is a must in terms of squad battles for me. On the right, Mohamed Salah. Um, the weak foot used to let me down a little bit there. At Cam, we used to have. Eden Hazard and to be honest he was like my star man um, he was yeah he was just amazing I really really enjoyed using him then on the left was Hyung Min Son and up top was Sergio Aguero <clears throat> now the problem with this team was that I could only get Son on seven chemistry well, that was one of the biggest reasons I had to change it. But before we move on to the new team, we need to pay some massive respect to some of these players that we're going to be waving goodbye to. Look at some of those stats, man. The amount of games played on some of these players and the amount of goals scored is just absolutely incredible. I know it's squad battles, but it's just crazy. Look, Salah has got 1,040 games on him. Son's over 1,000, so is Mendy. And goals-wise, look at that for goal contributions from Hazard. Basically, 1,000 games and 2,000 goal contributions. So, yeah, big up to him. And Aguero, yeah, he scored a lot of goals, but for me, he's not really lived up to what I was hoping that he would be. And like I said, with Salah, his weak foot used to let me down a little bit. And with Son, I just couldn't get him onto uh, full chemistry, which made him... A bit of a liability. I say a liability. He was just slow. So there we go. But that's that out of the way. Now let's move on to the exciting stuff. Okay. We have been out and we've spent big. So it's time to get into it. There'll be no shock to you guys to learn that I've got Allison in goal. No need to change him really. Not yet. Um, he does the job and he does it well. At right back we have got... Headliners, James Tavernier. And I've actually used him for a couple of weeks already. He's not obviously fresh because his SBC has uh, finished. But I think he's amazing. Like he, the last two weeks, for those of you who've been following the channel, I've had PBs on squad battles. And it sounds strange, but like him as a right back has really, really helped with that. With just his speed and his agility and my ability to like jock play, jockey players. And his passing's really good as well. So yeah well chuffed with him pissed that Rangers drew at the weekend though or he would now be uh, an 87 right centre back this might be a little bit of a strange one to you guys but I've gone with Cannavaro now he is going to be the first person out of this team that is going to get upgraded because I've still got about 350,000 coins and Cannavaro was roughly about 500k I'll run through the prices um, later on in the video but what I like about him and remember this is for squad battles is his agility and his balance he's got great defending and he's got okay pace basically if I if I like 
Canavaro, the 89, I will just, next week, I'll upgrade to the 92, which the 92 to the 89 is a massive um, step up. And I'm hoping that it can do the job. Yes, he is only 5'9", but again, I'm hoping that it's not really going to make too much um, difference. So, centre-back number two is Blanc, Larry White. He's been amazing for us since day dot. We saved our ass off to get him earlier in the year and he's been fantastic ever since. So there's absolutely no reason why we would get rid of him at all. I can see him being there till at least like June, July. Unless we pack something crazy. Right, left back. This won't be too much of a shock to you guys. We've still got Thurland Mendy. He's still doing a good job. Um... And there's not too many alternatives for me anyway. So yeah, we've still got Mendy sat at left back. Into the midfield, we have got N'Golo Kante. Again, like I said, he's a must for squad battles. Although I will be looking to improve uh, him in the future. But yeah, again, there was other positions that needed attention above him. Again, guys, this isn't how it sets up in game. But pre-game to get the chem, this is what I'm doing. Over to the right-hand side, this is a big one, guys. We have got Georgie Best. It's the mid version. It's the 90 version. I was thinking of Best or Grincher, which is why I asked a lot of you for opinions. But what swayed me with Best was um, his finishing. His finishing is a lot better than Grinch's, although Grinch had the five-star skill and the better passing. Um, but he was also three or four hundred k more expensive. So I thought, let's try best and see how we get on with him. Um, but I think he's going to be really, really good. Um, plus, I've always been a fan of best, and I've never used him. So yeah, I thought let's give him a well. For me, certainly an upgrade on Salah, although they're both 90 rated. On to the left. This is a definite upgrade, and it is your boy, Neymar Jr. Instead of Hyunmin Son. So we've still got the five-star weak foot, but we've got better pace. We've got better dribbling. And, yeah, it's just all round going to be a better player. The five-star skills as well. I'm really looking forward to using him. It'd be no surprise to you that next to him, we have got his pal, the speedster, it's the king of FIFA 21. It's Kylian Mbappe, guys. Well buzzing about that. So we've got Mbappe and Neymar. Which I know is very meta. I might seem a bit boring. But I'm buzzing to give him a go. Now, I have a lot of other players that um, aren't that common to see people use. So I think it's okay for me to use a couple. Right. Next midfield position, which a lot of you guys will know about this already if you watched my video last week. From my mid-icon pack, I got Michael Balak. And at the time, I'm not going to lie, deep down, I was pissed. But I played one game with him with an engine on him. And I was like, oh my god, like seriously, this is like, it's just useless. I then changed him to a shadow and he was just a completely different player. Not like he's not unreal, but he is good and he's quite good for squad battles, um, which is the main thing. And then the last place, last but not least, is the big man Wazza Rune Rune Rune. Well, happy to have done that Rooney SBC to finish off this 11. Um, and I'd actually need to give a shout out to Coach Mastikos, who is um guy who I played co-op with earlier in the year he got first in squad battles last year as well and uh, he's been helping me put a team together I've been chewing his ear off badly over the past couple of uh, months but I finally decided on this team and I'm actually really happy with it really happy I think it's got a nice blend of everything that I'm looking for to progress in squad battles and in game this is how it will look so it'll be Tavernier, Cavanaro, Blanc, Mendy Balak and Kante as the CDMs. Best on the right. Neymar on the left. Rooney as Cameron and Bappe as striker, guys. So, there we have it. You've all been waiting for it. There it is. Let me know what you think. Thanks for your support on the channel recently. It's been absolutely amazing. Please drop a like if you've liked what you have seen today. Like I said, get in the comment section and let me know what your thoughts are about this um new team i'll be back tomorrow with some more rewards so keep an eye out for that 
And yeah, let's see how far this team can take me. So I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>